the image of his goodness. Wisdom is the image of the Most High. So when that wisdom enters into us, mm -hmm. we bear the image of the Most High. And that's why when you read the book of Genesis, I believe it's chapter 2, it speaks about how, um, like, the, um, what is it, the angels, they yeah, said, yeah, um, yeah. they have created yeah, man yeah. in our image. Right, right, exactly. Because the man was given, man was given wisdom and understanding. Right, right, exactly. Or exactly. To know, okay. to know um, what is it, good and evil. Right, because, but these churches, they don't understand that. They think that's talking about physical. That we're all in the image of God, we're all God's children. You know, East Indians, Chinese, so forth and so on. They don't understand that that's talking about wisdom, wisdom and order, righteousness and, and law and order, man. Okay? Alright? Because the most side, the, 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 the angels, the, the, uh, the angelic forces create man to be in righteous order just like the angels. Okay? Um, you don't. And it says, verse 27, for being but one, she can do all things. Being but one, she can do all things, go ahead. And remaining in herself, she maketh all things new. Remaining in herself, she maketh all things new. So when this wisdom enters into us, we become new. We become renewed. New creatures. All right. A new man. New Jerusalem. Okay? When we receive this wisdom and knowledge and understanding. Okay? Renewed in the image of him that created us. We don't. And it says, And in all ages, entering into holy souls. In all ages, entering into holy souls. Go ahead. To the pure, all things are pure. Right. Go ahead. The, all, the, the, uh, the spirit of the prophets is subject to Ooh. the prophets. See? There you go. Go ahead. She maketh them friends of the Most High. She maketh them friends wisdom. Maketh them friends of the Most High. Go ahead. And prophets. And prophets. Okay. That's heavy right there. And heavy. prophets. So this wisdom, first it enters into us, into, into pure <laughs> souls. All right, and then we're made in the image of them. We're like a mirror reflection, a spiritual mirror reflection of the Most High. Okay, and then we become friends of the Most High and prophets, servants of the Most High. That's what this wisdom does. So it says image. Um, but that, the brother looked at the word image. Where? Likeness. Uh, or you've got copy or imitation. Okay. All right. Read that. Say that again. So yeah, uh, image. Um, from Latin, imagine them. Copy. Imitation. You say ima imagine them. Imagine them. Yeah. Imagine. imagine. Them. That's what you get the term imagination yeah, yeah. from. Right, imagine. Right. Copy, imitation, likeness. Copy, imitation, likeness. Mm. Copy. I idea as well, which we go into ideology. Being right. kind of the same thing. But you see how the brother's breaking the scriptures down, right? That's all the Holy Spirit because we jump from one scripture to the next scripture and we, and we back in our, our premise. That's how it's done. You know what I mean? See That's that? the Holy Spirit working. That's good. So I imitation. So we're imitating the Most High. Mm -hmm. we're, uh, well, obviously we can't do it perfectly. So we're rehearsing the, the righteousness of the Most High. We're imitating it. Mm -hmm. All right? trying to be likened unto the Most High. So we're like miniature copies of the Most High. Basically. basically. We're like, you know what I'm saying? We're like, we're like physical representatives of the Most High. Huh. That's why I said um, the servant should be as his master. Yeah. Should be in the likeness or in, in the, in the, in the, in the, the, um, what do you call this? The, um, what do you say? The, the um, the likeness of the um the likeness of his image the, the imitation, the imitation of his master copy. right the, the servant should copy his master mm. oh okay. you mean no servant is greater than, than his master right? so it's about oh. copy and imitation. no servant is greater than his master right okay so have you got any more yeah it says uh for the most high loveth none but him that dwelleth with wisdom so the most high loveth none 
but him that dwelleth with wisdom. Okay? But brother, what wisdom is this talking about? Is it talking about the wisdom from the university or... No, nah, no, it's not talking about the wisdom of this, of this world. It's hmm. talking about the wisdom of the Most High, which is in 1 Corinthians. <laughs> All right? All right? And what did wisdom, uh, Solomon, when he was young, what did he pray for? Did he pray for women? <laughs> Did he pray for the, did, he, did he pray for um, you know what I'm saying? Oh, gold and horses and houses, chariots. You know what I'm saying? Did he pray for the, to be the best looking man in Jerusalem? Fame, huh? What did he pray for? He prayed for wisdom, and because he prayed for wisdom. Everything else he desired, the Most High added onto that. Because he prayed just for wisdom, the wisdom to guide the Most High's people. All right. So that so that's wisdom is life, man. If you don't have wisdom, then what the hell can you do? You're just a walking dead. That's why I said wisdom is moving than any motion. Wisdom passes into into all things, man. Skills, okay. Well, that's how. That's why Solomon was became rich because of wisdom. Right. Because great men in the ancient world, if you was a great man of understanding, you became rich exactly. because of your wisdom. Yeah, yeah because, because your skill. skills. Yeah. All right. Because you, you you knew how to do things. You had yeah. the understanding of things, the operation of things. Mm -hmm. Okay. The, the psychology of things. Okay. The influencing of things. You know the development of things. The, the maintainment of a thing, how it can be maintained, yeah. okay. how things can be made, how right. you can make something, how can it be affected, okay, that's right, our, our human nature, body language, you know what I'm saying, how to create like a craft, you know what I'm saying, so Solomon knew all these things, all right, so, so what have you got? What's up? What's going on? Um, have, have you finished with that though? Finish, let's finish with that. <laughs> it says, uh, verse 29, it says, For she is more beautiful than the sun, and above all the order of the stars, being compared with the light she is found before it. For after this cometh night, but, but Vice shall not prevail against wisdom. Alright. So so let's so that's so that's it. This is um I think we was going into um you read that Nicodemus one. You go go back to the um the flesh and blood will not inherit the kingdom. That's um Corinthians. Is that the same Corinthians? That's Corinthians 15. Because, you know, I wanted to get into that because you're going into the spiritual resurrection and then the physical resurrection. Because what the brother was going into is the, is the physical resurrection, the part where you put off the mortal bodies and we inherit those incorruptible bodies. But first, it was like an earthly thing, then it became a spiritual thing. Like, before, obviously, the, the state that we're in right now, we've resurrected on a spiritual level. Okay, because we were once Gentiles, all right, thinking that we were Africans, thinking that we were black, thinking that we were Jamaicans and Nigerians and so forth and so on. But when we came to this truth, we came to know that we're Israelites, sons of the living God, man, Yahweh. Okay, that we have a great future ahead of us according to what the Bible says, all right, and if we believe in these things and hold fast these things until the end, the Mosai is going to change all these vile, uh, filthy bodies where we're going to be uh, likened unto Yahweh Shai. <coughs> the Jewish people. Part when it gets on um, flesh and blood, and then here the I think it's verse 50. Oh, yeah. Uh, first Corinthians 15 and 50. Now, say, now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of the most high, neither doth corruption inherit incorruption. Right, so we just we just went into that. 
We went all into that, man. Okay. Go ahead. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. Is that, and that's that's what the Christian churches do. They think that we're all gonna sleep, like R.I.P. The end of the world. We're all gonna die, mm -hmm. and then good people are gonna go to heaven, <laughs> and then bad people are gonna burn forever. Okay. And, and Paul is saying that that ain't gonna happen, no. They said we're gonna be changed. That's what's gonna happen. Go ahead. Verse uh, 52, he says, In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. Right. So it said, The dead shall be raised incorruptible. All right? Because right now we're dead. We're dead in these mortal bodies, man. Okay? These bodies represent death, man. It represents death. There's, there's no like, there's no real life that can come out of, out of this, man. That's why brothers are sick. Bro brothers, brothers are suffering, man. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Brothers are tired. Brothers are weak. Brothers are standing here about to collapse, man. Brothers are standing here about ready to fall asleep to collapse. <laughs> about to puke. <laughs> I'm just playing, man. But we're, but we're all messed up in the body, man. Come on, come on. Body, even though we've got our clothes on, you know what I'm saying? Because we're covering our sicknesses and our ailments and shit. Really, all, bro all these brothers, we're, we're all corrupted, man. We're all fucked up, man. It's like right now, man. My, I can't even feel my legs right now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This brother here, he's about to drop, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We're all fucked up in this world. Forty is setting great dignity. All right, we're all messed up. Okay, our, our, our skin is peeling, and our, our mucus in our nose. Okay, <laughs> our breath smells. <laughs> teeth is rotten. My feet are so wet. <laughs> know what I'm saying? Yeah. Back hurting. Yeah. Yeah. Back is hurting. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Your feet are numb. It oh, says, says um. Verse 53 says, For this corruptible we must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this incorruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. Death is swallowed up in victory, man. So if we need to get the victory, the over this beast, for this beast, this system represents death. Everything yeah. about this place represents death. Yeah. Okay. That's why we need we need this destruction, man. We need the destruction. We need the deliverance, man. You know what I'm saying? Through your house shy, you know, all this is gonna happen, but uh, Luke uh, Luke 9 and 27 and this is uh Yahweh Shai says, but I tell him, but I tell you of the truth. There shall be some standing here who shall not taste of death. So they see the kingdom of the most high. Right. Yeah, how Shah was saying, listen, some of you, you come to stand here, you're gonna get beamed up. You're gonna get beamed up in a chariot, and you're not gonna be killed of the second death. That's basically what you were saying. You're not gonna die the second death. The most high has brought unto you his grace, and when I die, my blood is gonna be upon you, and you're sealed for salvation. Alright? That's basically what you're saying. But going back to what I'm saying, like we, we need to be changed up here, man. I mean, through, we're speaking through the spirit, but our body, our flesh is, is, is fucked up, man. We're weak as all fuck, man. You know what I'm saying? You can't even run down the road without us getting tired of our breath, man. You know what I'm saying? We're sweating and shit, man. Well, the scripture says we should run and, and never get tired. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Did you know that if you don't wash after a few days, your body starts to smell more? It's like You know what I'm saying? That shows you how disgusting these bodies are, man. Even when you go into the, the movie The Matrix, Agent Smith, he was telling um, Neo, he's saying, um, he, no, he was telling Morpheus, Morpheus, when Morpheus is all tied up, 
and he was all like half unconscious and shit. And what does the word Morpheus mean? Mor he dead, didn't it? Like, it Morpheus. Change. It needs to change. Metamorphosis, Morpheus. Okay, okay. Yeah, it needs to change. All right. And um, Morpheus is all tied up in a chair. And Agent Smith was like, I have to be free from this filth. And then he was like, it's disgusting. And he was like, <laughs> and it was true. It was that, it's the, yeah, it's, the, it's the smell. It's the way he was saying it. It was like, you gotta watch the movie, man. That's, a, that's the first one. Yeah, that's the first one. Yeah, yeah, that's, first my, one. that's one of my favorite films. Yeah. Because he was, because he was all tied up in, in the um, in the chair, and then Asia Smith went up to him and did this to his nose, like to get all the mucus out. He's like, it's disgusting. <laughs> I need to be free from this this prison. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and yeah. We should take out a few scriptures. Exactly. He was talking about these bodies, man. Uh, right. He was talking about these bodies. Yeah. But the word the word matrix is in the scriptures actually. It is. I researched yeah. it the other day and it, and it means um like like it goes back to the word womb. Yeah. So like it's like yeah. so like the, as you see in the movie, they're in them cocoons in it and then yeah. that's the they have been born into the yeah, things, yeah, man. Yeah. That's why it's called the Matrix. Yeah, the Matrix, yeah. You see that? So that's that's real. So the movie director, they, they know they know what I'll go on to a great extent. Come on. Yeah, you should get Jude as well. You can't we're talking about the subject matter, you gotta go get Jude. Jude. Yeah, the book of Jude where it says um we'll be we'll be we'll be in the chains of darkness until the until the um the coming of the day of the Lord. <clears throat> That's right, bro. That's correct. Okay. But that's that's what keeps me going, man. It's prophecy. Alright, that's what keeps me from bugging out. Um, Knowing that time's gonna come, but we're not gonna be in captivity like this all the time, man. That death is gonna get swallowed up. It tells you that in um, Revelations is death and hell will be thrown into the lake of fire. Uh, but brother, I thought hell, I thought hell was, was the fire. Exactly. How can fire be thrown into fire? <laughs> <laughs> Showing you is a metaphoric expression. Uh, Talking about this place, man. This place is death and it's hell. Uh, the value of death. Uh, That's why, yeah, um, not Yahweh Shai, but um, David called it the valley of death, no? Jude 1 and 6. Is it 1 and 6? Oh, yeah, Jude 1 and 6, it says, And the angels, which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation, he have reserved in everlasting chains, under darkness, unto the judgment of the great day. And that's talking about us. The angels, that kept not their first estate because he was with Yahweh Shai in the beginning. That's why it says, um, Yahweh Shai told the disciples, says, ye have been with me from the beginning. Right, right. Oh, All right? Oh, oh. So he told the disciples, you were with me in the beginning of all things, man. Mm. You was with me and created everything. And he also says, back in the each generation too. Right. Okay, exactly. exactly. All right, and, and Luke, was it, was, it, was it John, John 101? And the, and the powers was with, you know, and the word was, was with the powers or something, something to that effect. Yeah. Okay. That's right. Yeah, John 101, it says, uh, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with the powers, was, was with powers. And the word was powers, and okay. the same was in the beginning with power. Okay, because it says God, right? For it says God. But when you go into the um, the Hebrew, is the word you're gonna see there is Allah Hayyim, which means basically the angelic forces or the powers. Okay, like when you go into Genesis 1 on 1, you're gonna see in the beginning. It says God created the heavens and the earth. Yeah. But then when you go into the Hebrew, the word you're gonna see there is Allah Which means God's. The name of the Most High is not even mentioned. 
So it was gonna be that too. Exactly. Alright? See because in John 1 and 1 as well, it's because it says the beginning was the word and the word is with God, the word is Yahweh Shai, right? So when the Christians read it, they think Yahweh Shai is God. It's God. Yeah, but that's what that's where that um that's where the um the, 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 the Nicene Council got it from. The Nicene yeah. Council gave that kind of idea to propagate to certain people and they took on that belief system. I said, I said one thing, when I came into this truth, and I was still learning that, that kind of thing, right? And my brother said to me, yeah, read John 1 and 1 in the Epic And I read it, and I was like, okay. And when I done a bit more research, I cut him when I realized, when I, worked, when I, when I learned what the word um, God meant. And what, how, you know, obviously, right. dealt with Right. See, because that's why it's called a mystery. But the one, you know, you just said it, right? You said something to the effect of how we were, we were different the, with your house shot from the beginning. So that means if you really want to go deeper, we would have the Allah Haim then. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's what I was trying to say. We were the powers. That's why I said the angels that kept not their first estate. Yep. Alright? Oh yeah, get some. But left their habitation and um were reserved in chains of darkness yep. until the coming of that great day. Okay. Because um <laughs> Because we was with Yahweh, that's why we know we know Yahweh Shai through this truth. Yeah. Why do you think that we we become familiar with this truth over all the rest of the spirits you see walking around out here? No. We because when, when we heard this truth, it resonated with us, man. Because we know we know the spirit. Well, we're, we're, we're familiar with the spirit. Well, that's why it says, "I shall stir up your pure minds." Um, by a way of remembrance. Right, right, right. Okay. That's that's correct. That's 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 very true. Alright? So we're those angels that kept not our first estate, but, our, but left our habitation and are now in chains of darkness. What are the chains of darkness? What are the chains of darkness? What are the cha what's the chains that's holding us back? from doing righteousness. Even Paul spoke about it. He said, listen, the thing that I would, I do not, because I'm being held back by the flesh. Mm. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is doing what? It's holding me back. Mm -hmm. It's weak. Okay? We're in these weak bodies, man. And that's why it's so easy to do evil. Because that's, weak people do evil. Yeah. Weak people, Weak people do evil. Yeah. That's why that's why you associate evil to women. Because women are all <laughs> weak. They're the weaker vessel. Absolutely. Because they're evil. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> weak people do evil. You know what I'm saying? But it's, it's easy. It's like, an it's like an instinctive thing to do evil. Um, yeah. But in this world, you you you're, you're looked at as being hard. You're tough if you do evil. See how backward this world is? Yeah, it's all backwards, man. It's backward, man. It's backward as all hell. And if you do certain that's, that's, that would be righteous, you're seen as being weak or soft. But then again, when you, but then again, when you look at it, it still signifies strength because you're in a society where a lot of people do evil and do wickedness. And you're able to have the, uh, a, a mind, a, a kind of mind power to not correspond with that way. So that, that's strength in itself. That's strength. Because you're not trying to be the sheep in the flock. That's called like a herd mentality. Right. You're basically a leader. You're saying, no, nah, I ain't with that. I'm, I'm, I'm setting my own path. Right. Right. That's like an alpha male strategy. Right. That's like a, a soldier, solo. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it still signifies strength. Exactly. That's all strength. You know, enduring hardness, like a soldier. Right? Mm -hmm. Psalms 82 and 6 says, I have said, ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. But ye shall die like men, and right. fall like one of the princes. So we become weak. Yeah. You receive weaker bodies, chains of darkness, and, and the darkness represents their ignorance. Void of... <coughs> Void of, of wisdom. Okay? But then they said, um, 
reserved until the day, the, the, the day of the Lord, right? Okay, because we're going to receive them in mortal type bodies. All right, and in the last verses, because what? Yeah, it's about that time, isn't it? Yeah, it's about um. Yeah, read a couple of more verses. If you got any couple of verses, we'll go back to um second Corinthians. Go back to that. There shall be swallowed up in victories. Yeah, two more minutes. Uh, what is that? Second Corinthians. The second. Let's go. No, it's first. First, first Corinthians. <coughs> I'm just saying, get those uh, big, big, you know those massive umbrellas. That lock, I can like see lock from outside. Stretch, stretch. Where shall I start from? There shall be swallowed up in victory, so. Yeah, it's in um, verse 50 something. 50, 53 or 54? 54. First Corinthians 15 and 54 it says, So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up with victory. Goes on to say, O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the sting of sin is the Lord. All of that's going to get conquered, man. When we get beamed up in the chariots and receive them bodies, we're never going to be able to sin again. All right? Wicked thoughts is going to be far away from our mind. All right, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have control over over thoughts, man. We're gonna have control over spirits. Huh. That's power, right there. That's power. We're gonna be able to con to to rebuke a spirit. Yeah, but if you can, but if if we're able to do that, then us having these evil thoughts and us not being able to control ourselves, that's just gonna be easy. That's gonna, we're gonna be able to. That's what I'm saying. We're gonna be able to rebuke those thoughts. No, if we be able to see a spirit, man, and just rebuke it. Mm -hmm. Now those spirits won't even come near us, man. We're gonna have control over them, man. All right. <laughs> We're gonna have power. control. That's, that's, that, power. that's power. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? There's all those the evil imaginations. Fine. It's cast off. There's half of the times those evil thoughts that, that go in your mind, those are the, but pretty much um, demons. Pretty much, yeah, demons, bad spirits that enters your mind. Oh. You know. You know? Uh, verse 57 says, Be thanks, uh, but thanks be to the Most High, which give us the victory through our Lord Yahweh Mashiach. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Most High. Right, so, all of this that we're doing is not in vain. That's why Paul had to write them to let us know that whatever we're going through now. It's not in vain, meaning the Most has are putting this on, on paper, on spiritual paper. Oh, yeah. All right? So that's, so, you know what I'm saying? So we got to keep this in mind, as the scripture said, be steadfast in yeah. what we're doing. All right? Always abounding in, in the work. Okay? So um, with that, yeah, you close it, So, you know, with that, we give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushah. Okay, uh, double honors to the elder apostles. Okay, and all the brothers out there that's doing the truth, man, in sincerity and continual diligence, man. Okay. Shalom. 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 Shalom.